Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. I just read some exciting news on the GOV website. If you're wondering why I keep looking up there, it's because I'm reading it off a big screen behind you. Anyway, what it says is, the government moves forward, advanced trials for self-driving vehicles. Now, that is amazing. Guys, if you've been watching the channel, I recently drove the, the Tesla P100D and it was uh, absolutely fantastic experience. What I did love about it was the autopilot. Now, Tesla reckon that that car um, it would only take an update for it to be completely self-driving. My issue with that is, there was a few times when I was using that car on autopilot and the car got very confused, whether it was because the road markings were, weren't clear. Well, it just makes me question whether, you know, we're as close as they're saying. But I must say, what an amazing bit of kit it is. And, and on the motorway, it was absolutely fantastic, absolutely amazing. And I really do embrace this driverless cars because I think us humans have been making a big mess of it for a long time. So let's just give the cars, let's give the computers a go. I can't believe that they would make any worse of a, a mess of it than, than us humans have because thousands of collisions every day. So, so back to the GOV, what they're saying is a process is being developed to support advanced trials of automated vehicles. It also says government strengthens guidelines on trial safety and transparency. It also says the UK seek to cement the position as a world leader in automated vehicle trials. And the government sent to develop a process to help support advanced trials. The UK has a rich heritage of automated development and manufacturing with automated and electric vehicles set to transform the way we live our lives. That certainly is true because the sooner electric cars take over the road, I think it'll be a safer place. That's genuine. That's genuinely my thought. It also says we need to ensure that we take the public with us on the move towards having self-driving cars on the road by 2021. So that's the year after next. That's amazing. Now this announcement is certainly another milestone in the government's future of mobility grand challenge. Now, I'm not sure what that means if I'm honest. It says it's a, it's a key part of the modern industrial strategy which aims to take advantage of the extraordinary innovation in UK engineering and technology to make journeys safer, cleaner, cheaper and more reliable. Now guys I just wanted to share that with you because I think this is a massive step in the direction of automated cars. What do you think about automated cars? I really want to know your opinion on this. Do you think we should ever get to that stage where we trust cars and, and computers with our, our, our lives, our families' lives? I think the biggest problem is when you get that, got that mixture of self-driving cars and you know your ordinary human-driven cars. I think that's where the problems could lie. I, I think if everything was automated, the system would just run you know, pretty seamlessly. If you have an automated car which will not let the car collide with another car, then will you have people who are driving cars taking advantage of that? Maybe pulling out just knowing that the, this car is gonna stop. I'm wondering whether that could cause a lot of problems. Anyway, this is a massive step in having fully automated cars. And I personally will embrace this. I really think it's an amazing idea, I really do. I think electric cars are fantastic. People who follow us know, I mean, I've driven the Renault Zoe and I fell in love with it. It's absolutely a fantastic little car and and it just shows what can be done with electric cars. I mean, it had almost a 300 mile range and very, very economical to run. And what I like about it is electricity will always be electricity, if you like. So I think the government are restricted to how much they can sort of charge you um, for electricity because it powers our homes. And as renewable energy, you know, becomes more and more effective, electricity is going to be a lot cheaper. So I think electric cars are an amazing idea, I genuinely do. I also was recently able to drive the Tesla, like I said to you earlier, and what a fantastic car. What a fantastic car. But with the Tesla, it, you should expect it to be a fantastic car because the one I drove was, I think, about £140,000. That's a huge amount of money. So that car should be something special. But let me know what you think, guys. Do you think fully automated cars will be? on the road by 2021? Do you think they should be on the road? Do you think these trials should advance? Or do you think these trials should just disperse and we just keep driving the cars ourselves? I would embrace it. I hate driving. Not a fan of driving, guys, to be honest with you, anymore. I used to be in my younger years, but to be honest with you, if I could get into a car now, set the destination and let it take me there, I would, without a doubt. So I would really be interested in what you've got to say on this, guys. Do you think that we should have automated cars? Just leave a comment down below, guys. I'd really be interested in your thoughts on this because I know 
there's such a huge range of people who absolutely want to embrace this and there's people who think it's absolutely ridiculous even down to electric cars i mean i've had lots of people say that they don't think electric cars should be the future but i think if you was to go and drive an electric car it would change your mind you know for not just for fuel economy the biggest problem with electric cars at the moment is the cost they're very expensive to buy but the same as everything the more that they're produced, the more that are sold, the cheaper they'll become. I think we should embrace this electric cars, but I would definitely be interested in what you've got to say in the comments down below. Thank you for watching this video. Don't get lost or squashed, and we'll speak more soon. Seek to cement position. Seek to... Seek to send... Seek to... It also says the UK seek to... cement the position as a world leader in automated in automated vehicle trials YouTube channel. This one right now. Right See now. you soon. Just down there. That it's button. there. That's it. See you. Bye.